Good morning. I can't believe I'm literally filming a YouTube video at 6.40 in the morning when I look at this bad and I'm literally losing my fiance's big t-shirt. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm starting my morning with a nice glass of water. I'll actually probably have two of these. Then a French press. First, I heat the water in the kettle, and I just ground up some fresh beans. This little girl kept me up all night. Isn't that right? Oh, that was on now. It's okay. We love you. And a quick shout out to Audible for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys. Stay tuned on how I use Audible in my everyday life. Now let's make some coffee. Putting the beans straight in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be strong. Hot, hot water. I wait like five minutes, and then I'm just gonna press that down. Oh, that's going to be really strong. Hey, baby. Yeah. I'm obsessed with this true whip. It's so good in the morning. Just put one, two hefty scoops in. Fall time. I like to add a little bit of cinnamon, too. I always get so much energy after I work out. I have an English muffin in the toaster. I'm gonna do just one whole egg and then just the egg whites in the other one. So the what I eat in a day of laying. Koya. Post-workout. Here's just making some eggs, English muffin for two. For two? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of butter, baby. Lots of butter. This is my breakfast. Usually I put like more stuff in the eggs, but I'm kind of in a hurry. So here we go. So I am going for a walk and I'm opening up my Audible, what I love to listen to on my walks because they have so many audiobooks to choose from. I am listening to Atomic Habits at the moment right now. So let's get it. I go for 20 minute walks on top of my daily workout and it has been amazing for me. Not only is it so good for weight loss and so underrated, it is so good for my mental health and Audible is just the perfect thing to listen to because they have such a variety of options. It is the home of storytelling. They have Audible originals, they of course have podcasts and what I love personally are audiobooks. I will actually just put a little link for Audible down below as well if you guys wanna check it out. It's what I listen to on my walk and I love it because it's like I'm reading a book as I'm walking. <laughs> also, another thing that I love about it, there's a category for everything. So I right now wanna be in the self-help category, but also I've been in a business category before, um, which has been great to grow my business and to hear from other entrepreneurs. So there's so many different categories that you guys can choose from. Also like crime, we love crime stuff. All right, putting my phone away for the next 20 minutes of my walk now, and do not forget to pump your arms. Here is my snack. Some apple slices, only half an apple, and two tablespoons of peanut butter. For lunch, I have this idea. In my head, it sounds really good, and I hope it turns out good, because I've never made something like this before. I make chicken salad a lot, and I love to do it usually with like some celery, grapes, maybe red onion. But I thought, why not create a chopped salad style chicken salad? Does that make any sense? Because like we have still a red onion, cucumber, but like olives. Uh, we got maybe some peppers and pepperoncinis. I have both um, provolone cheese and salami as well. And I have chickpeas. So why not do a chicken salad, chopped salad style? Let's see how it turns out. So I chopped up some store-bought rotisserie chicken. I just feel like it's so much easier that way. Then we have our little chopped salad board. So I have some cucumber, red pepper, onion, salami, pepper and jamies, olive, mozzarella. And then I also have some chickpeas, lettuce, the buns. Every ingredient is in there. Now time to make the dressing. Well, in the dressing, I just did mayo, Dijon, oregano or Italian seasoning, some sea salt, olive oil, and lemon, and red wine vinegar, super simple. Like a genius right now. Wow. Looking so good. So I just did that layer of provolone, a little bit of lettuce. <gasps> oh! These turned out freaking insane, you guys. I know it was a lot of chopping, but at the same time, I feel like you can make a bunch of sandwiches at once. You good? You want some? No, you can't have some. That was really, really mean. I don't know why I said that. Lane just said, <laughs> he doesn't want to be in the video. He just said, this is one of your better ones. Oh, and with a Diet Coke. Let's make a fall soup. 
white bean creamy veggie soup. First up, I'm going to dice this onion, <laughs> carrots, and celery. My cute little onesie. Mmm, onesie action, baby. Mmm. Whenever a recipe requires a lot of prep or a lot of chopping, like I'm chopping my onion, celery, um, and carrots right now, I just feel like Audible is like the perfect thing to throw on. Cooking is seriously my form of meditation. Perfect time to throw on Audible because it just, number one, makes cooking really enjoyable, and number two, helps pass the time. I'm crying. <laughs> the onions. Oh, I tossed in some butter. I just thought I'd put a tiny bit of flour in there before I put the vegetable broth in, just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. So I just cubed up some potatoes and I'm going to toss these in. Potatoes. I'm absolutely starving and I cannot wait for the soup to be done. So I'm gonna do a little snack before dinner. Waffles. Just a light snack before dinner. If you literally don't put half the stick <laughs> on your waffle, then what are you doing? Did you make your waffle right now? I did. What the heck? <laughs> I'm back to my audible since my fiance doesn't want to join me in the kitchen. Would you like to join me in the kitchen? No. All right, back to audible. Next, we are adding white beans and kale. And I'm just gonna chop up three pieces of basil and put it in just for really great flavor, but light. For my seasonings, I am doing a little black pepper vegetta, which is literally just my favorite. I use it for so much, especially soups, and this garlic salt as well. I'm gonna add some heavy cream. This is one of the last things I do though. It's looking and smelling absolutely amazing. That splash of cream just made it super creamy. Still really light though at the same time. And so many nutrients. So good. Sorry, Melody, you could not have any. Okay, wow. Very good. Thank you. It's almost time for our after dinner walk. We do these walks now before it gets like, <laughs> before it gets cold out. We live in LA. But when it's so really nice at night, we do an after dinner walk. And I like kind of been forgetting. And I think I need to just go change for my <laughs> after dinner walk. All right, we do no phones on our walk. <laughs> And I just don't really care, so I'm going my little onesie. I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Make sure you guys check it out. Mwah.